whatever you do, you've got to be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Mm. Not a lot of people can understand that. That's why I don't know about nothing else. I do not pay attention to nothing else. There was games of football on yesterday, there was rugby, there was this, there was that. And like normal society is like, let's talk about this, and let's, let's engage in this. And I just don't, I can't do it. I just don't, I'm, I, people are talking to me and in my head I'm, I'm counting something. I'm counting up a number or I'm, or I'm knee deep in a sequence on the mat or in, on the feet. That's my life, sequences and numbers, nothing else. I cannot pay attention to nothing else. Do you love this game? I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door. They're just going to slam it right in our face. I love this game. I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession's going to be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? Let's face it, it's you against you out there. When you walk on that court, you have to think I am the best guy out there. And my personal question to you is why not you? You've got the brains, you can make decisions, you can study the plan, you can change your life, you can grow immensely in the next few years. You can make your dreams come true. You can build a financial wall around your family nothing can get through. You can become healthy. You can become powerful. Why not you? When I was in the military, we go on these instructor-led runs. Most of the time, we knew the start and end point. So on the way back, I started seeing people getting happy and shit because the end was near. But there were some asshole instructors that would hear the happiness and go right on past the end point. When that happened, everybody stopped talking. Heads would start dropping. And I started taking fucking souls. At that time, I knew what happened in their minds. They were living off the hope factor. They hoped the instructors would stop running. They hoped the water was never cold. They hoped the weather was fucking good. I don't live off that hope shit. I wish the water was cold. I wish them motherfucking instructors keep on fucking running. I wish the fucking rain. When the Indian is unknown and the distance is unknown, that's when you know who the fuck you are. The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. Yep. But where do you go to? You wake up on a morning, it's cold.